Hi, I'm John Anderson, North American Product Specialist for the 3D Disto. Here we have a real world measurement challenge for our 3D Disto, something that could happen any day of the week. You've been asked to come out to this office building and measure the architectural details of this two-story window directly behind me. The challenge is to measure from the bottom corner on the left all the way up the two-story wall around capturing the detail of the curve at the top back down the opposite side into the floor. We're all set up and ready to go to measure this architectural detail. The 3D Disto is set up on a tripod. We've ensured that we can hit all the points with the 3D Disto line of sight and we've entered our room scan software. The first thing as we enter room scan is to enter and, reference, enter and measure a reference height. We're going to keep that at zero. Go ahead and hit OK. We're going to target with the 3D Disto our zero elevation point, which we'll just call the base molding down there right where it meets the wall. Set our benchmark of zero. Now in room scan, we're going to enter a subroutine. Up here in the top right hand corner allows us to scan vertically or horizontally. Today we're going to do a vertical scan. Measure a start point. So my 3D disto is over where I just shot that benchmark point and uh, that's a pretty good point to start. I'm going to move out just one or two clicks just to give me a little working room. There's my start point. Now what I need to do with the 3D Disto is do I want to measure a vertical plane, which is what I want to do in the second window there, versus measuring a right angle straight up. So I'm going to measure and click the second option. And now the 3D Disto is going to ask me to measure the opposite point. And what we're really doing in this case is we're defining this plane that we're going to measure in just a second. Go ahead and hit OK. Now we're going to spin the 3D Disto, I'm just going to do it manually, over to the opposite corner, and again I'm defining the plane that I'm going to measure. So where I measure to is not necessarily important. What I am concerned about though is hitting the opposite side that I'm going to work from one point to this point on the opposite side. So we're in a good spot, we're going to hit OK. Now how do we want to measure? Do we want to go up and around? Do we want to go between two points, or do we want to go down and across? In our case, we're going to want to go up and around. Then it's going to allow us to set the spacing. We can set the spacing as low as a half inch, or as high as 24 inches. So since we're going to start with some flat walls, let's just set it at 4 inches to start. The 3D Disto is going to motorize around to our start point, and automatically start taking measurements. Each measurement value is exactly four inches from the next point. Now you will start to see down here in the bottom corner a representation of our drawing as it works its way up the wall. If we want to stop it and pause it halfway through, change our spacing, we can simply hit our pause button. And since we're on a big flat surface right now, let's change my scan interval up to uh, 12 inches. Actually, let's go 18. It's a big flat wall. So now it's going to move up and take a new reference point every 18 inches. So it's going to work its way up the vertical surface very quickly. As we get toward the top, I'm going to slow it down and stop so that we can start to pick up the details in the corners. And you can see a representation of my drawing right here again. So we're almost up at the corner. I'm going to hit pause because I'm very close to the corner. Change my scan interval. Let's bring it down to four inches. Now it's going to continue on. It's getting up very close to the corner. If we miss the corner itself, we can go back and edit that and add it later. So we don't need to worry about pinpointing the exact corner. Now the 3D Disto has made the corner, and you're going to start to see it's going to come across and then pick up our detail of the archway. So I'm going to leave this at a smaller resolution of the four inches right now to pick up all that detail of the curve. Now we're just going to let it run.
Now you see it's working its way up and around the contour of that curve. Every four inches it's moving and taking a new shot. Talk about how it's redrawing on the screen there. So the whole the whole image is fitting into the view. You'll see that our view Wait a minute. Give it give me a second to edit voices out. You'll see that as it draws, on the far right hand side, we've got our small spacing, then we change the larger spacing. My view screen is adjusting itself automatically so that the entire image fits into our allotted space. You'll also see an image of the 3D Disto right down here. That is physically where this 3D Disto sits in relation to all of these points. So inside of it, it has calculated its position in relation to everything else. So it's just going to work its way through and we're going to see we've got lots of points up here in the curve, which we do want to pick up all that detail as we go around. If we were not interested in picking up that amount of detail, I could again pause it, change my scan interval, let's take it back up toward 12 inches. Now it's going to move 12 inches between each measured value. So it's going to get a little faster. If we wanted higher resolution, we could pause it again, we could change that down to half inch measured values. Now I'm keeping an eye on it here as it goes around. We're continuing around the other side of that arch, working our way down. Now I'm going to pause it in a second because we're going to change planes again up there for a minute. So let's change my, change my scan interval back down to, let's go to two inches for a second as it works its way around the corner, pick up a little more detail. Now on occasion the 3D Disto may target a different point, but it will self-correct and come back and find itself. Now we've worked our way through that corner at the two inch resolution. Let's pause it again. Change my scan interval. Let's just go back to four inches as we work our way through a little more architectural detail. And in just a minute, we're gonna get over to that vertical wall, in which case I'm gonna change it to 12 or 24 inches to run ourselves back down the wall. We're not interested in two inch or four inch detail at that point. Now we've made the corner. You'll see it has changed direction on screen. Let's hit pause, change scan interval. Let's bump that up to 24 inches. Come down the opposite wall. Now when it gets down here to the bottom, I am going to pause it and then cancel the rest. Otherwise it's going to continue and do a full 360 degrees across the floor on that same plane. So we're just about there. We're there. Let's pause it and we're going to skip the rest. Now the 3D Disto is going to come up and it's going to ask us if we want to edit this scan. What this allows us to do is pinpoint any missing corners or details that the scan did not pick up. So if I hit yes, I could then measure any missing points, and if it was a rectangular or we missed a corner, we would pinpoint that corner, and the software would square up those corners for us automatically. So let's just hit OK briefly. Now I can manually target, hit my view screen. Now I'm going to manually turn the 3D Disto, and I know I missed a point when I first came up vertically. right up there in the corner. You can see there's the two different colors of the paint which show up on the screen and I can see the red dot on the view screen. I'm right in the corner now. Let's go ahead and take that shot. We've now squared up. I'm not going to use the old point because I want to establish a new point right in the corner. 
I've now squared up with point number 104, that particular corner. When I'm finished with my drawing or my scan, I'm going to hit the check mark and we're done. It's going to save it. Scan is finished. At this point, I can add more details or I could hit my house button, save my measurement, export it later for additional manipulation.